addicted to. Uh, Quincy Jones, the dude addicted, Patty Austin. Oh. Anyway, um, this is the last vlog of 2016. <laughs> so, I just wanted to do kind of a talk with me, or not talk with me, but a talk through Get Ready With Me. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'm actually distracted by the music, that's funny. Anyway. <laughs> Um, hold on. Um, it has been one. Ugh. Sorry. It has been one crazy year. Um, I know socially and politically it has been, um, tumultuous and uh, ridiculous on many levels. And um, just, you know, for a lot of people personally, it's been very difficult losing different people uh, with this being a year that we've even lost so many different celebrities and legends. It's just been, it's been a crazy year. It's been a crazy year. But I can say on a personal level, for me, it's been a really great year. It's been a year of growth and opportunity and it's been a really happy peaceful year and I'm very very grateful for that because for me last year was not so anyway um yeah it's been um well just goodness gracious just this is the day after Christmas um we found out that George Michael passed away uh yesterday and that was a shock. Uh, at this point, it's just like, Lord, can we just make it out of 2016 alive and well? Thank you, Lord, by faith we will, in Jesus' name. Um, but it's just been like, wow, like, wow. You know, that wasn't what I was expecting to see on my Instagram timeline, timeline on Christmas. So, God bless his family and his friends, and I'm a huge George Michael's fan, and freedom, is my one of my favorite songs of all time definitely my favorite George Michael song and the other one not careless whisper that makes me laugh because a guy did a parody of it <laughs> I'll insert that clip if I can find it um <laughs> anyway um it's another one I will be your mother brother put your tiny hand in my I will be your mother Anyway, till the end of time, I don't know. But if you know the song I'm talking about, I love that song. Put it in the comment box. Um, but yeah, just blessings go out to all the families of those who, family and friends of those who lost someone special this year. I mean, you know, it's been a tough year for a lot of people. So my heart, my heart and thoughts and prayers go out to everyone. Um... Yeah, um, other than that, Christmas was really good, really quiet, really peaceful, great food, yum Oh, I made a really good um, apple pie, not your traditional apple pie, but a really good apple pie. Um, yeah, uh oh, hello. This has definitely been a year of self-discovery for me definitely a year of walking on water a year of really walking by faith and not by sight stepping out of my comfort zone getting comfortable with the uncomfortable the whole nine because lord knows i have been stretched but for good things for good things my faith has been stretched you know, and that's a good thing because when your faith is stretched and things turn out right, you, you can really feel like, you know, God is with me, you know? So, that's how I feel. And that feels good. Uh, what is going on with this eyebrow? I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um, so, yeah. Just a year of being fearless, you know? And the funny thing is, I really learned that, honestly, the things that you think you're afraid of, like when you, you conjure it up in your head and you awfulize, as the Yala would say, 
uh, about like the terrible things that may happen or what if this person says no or what if I don't get this or what if that doesn't happen when I tell you at least eight eight to nine times out of ten the things that you're thinking are gonna happen like those worst case scenarios they don't happen you really have nothing to be afraid of on the other side it's just a trick of the enemy trying to keep you from progressing and um, that's been a huge lesson this year like there's nothing for you to be afraid of like you know get your life together walk on water don't sink don't fall if you want something go after it you know what can anybody do if they say no, if they say no they say no then you know it's not God's will for you to have it right or have it right now but you know, if they say yes, then they say yes, and you're a happy camper. So there's nothing to be afraid of. I used to really be afraid of, and it sounds kind of crazy now, but I used to really be afraid of getting everything I wanted and still being unhappy. And, um, oh, it kind of makes me emotional. But, um, I'm not afraid of that anymore. Like, this year is just like... All my fears have been put to rest. Like, you know, I'm not not afraid of, I ain't afraid of being happy. Or rather just afraid of, if you know, you want 10 things on the list out of life and you get them and then you're still not happy, crazy. Because if you get what you want, like you will be happy. And then if you're not happy after you get what you want, then, you know, spend some quality time with God and uh, reassess things. But really grew up, really, 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 really grew up. Grew up big time this year and uh, yeah, said goodbye to a lot of things that were holding me back. So that's a good thing. Um, I am trying not to get distracted because the heat is blowing and it is uh, very uh, hot. And I have on many layers as it is very cold in Las Vegas. It's not, it's not playing. So, uh, but. Like I said, this is the last vlog of 2016, and I am super excited for 2017 and all that it has to offer. I have some really amazing videos planned and really amazing projects planned that I'll be able to further elaborate on later. I was kind of thinking about this yesterday. I was doing the Christmas dishes <laughs> that you know it's just like like I was saying like I feel like I really grew up this year and it's just like <laughs> kind of that charade with Bill attitude like who gonna check me boo but who gonna check me boo you know like eyes grown eyes grown you know it's so weird sometimes you just feel like a kid or you feel like if somebody wants something from you like you have to do it or like you're you know, it's more me realizing that when my phone rings, I don't want to answer it. When I don't feel like responding to a text message at that moment. When someone has a request and I don't want to do it, I don't feel right about doing it, or I don't feel at peace about doing it, or I don't feel like doing it, or I'm not going to stop what I'm doing, to drop it and then do what, I, what they want me to do. If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. Because it's, a, as Mike Murdoch would say, it's an invitation, not an obligation. So... I'm learning that. Oh, hello, blush. I am. I'm learning that. I'm learning to just, I guess, more unabashedly be myself. You know, unapologetically be myself. Like I'm not like everybody else. I'm not gonna feel like everybody else every day. I'm not gonna feel the same way. I'm. You know, Monday I may be more accommodating than I will be on Tuesday. Wednesday I may be more accommodating than I would be on. Uh, on that Tuesday, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really okay for the first time. Like, it grows and grows more and more every year. My birthday is coming up in like a um, month and a week or so. I just feel like I, you know, I can feel a difference every year heading up to my birthday. And this is just, you know, it's getting, getting more and more. I'm just, more comfortable in my skin and I'm just I'm more comfortable with saying no and more comfortable with just being me with all my quirks and all my you know weird things like you know I'm just I'm me and that's all I can be that's all I can be 
That's all I can be in life. That's all I can be in love. All I can be in friendship. All I can be in, uh, in, in music or any type of creative venture. Like, all I can do is be myself. I don't know what you want from me. And if that is not good enough, honey, then go with God. I don't know what to tell you. So, yeah. Just learning not to be... I don't want to say intimidated because I've never been easily intimidated, but just learning not to let go of my own peace, you know? If something doesn't feel right, if I don't, you know, it's okay. I can't always be there for everybody. Just like uh, on the airplane, when they tell you when the oxygen mask comes down, put it on yourself first before you go to help anybody else. I'm learning to embrace my own oxygen mask <laughs> because Honestly, I think my nature is to just, every time someone calls, every time someone needs me, every time someone needs something, I'm like, you know, my nature is to just stop what I'm doing and be there. And you can't do that all the time because when do you have, you have to have time to feed yourself. And you know, you can't, and if it's, you know, if it's disingenuous, then that's not cool either. You know, you really didn't want to do it, but you did anyway. And so you're really not feeling it, so you're not even giving good advice because you don't even care right now. You don't care. You just want to listen to music and eat cheese puffs. So that's not good. So just learning more how to be true, truer to myself. Yeah, you know, I just can't, can't say yes to everybody. And if everybody has VIP privileges, then the, the VIP section's not special anymore, you know? Some people you have, like, unconditional grace for, and some people you really just don't, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, I know. But I pray that next year, we all will grow up a little more. Not just in age, but in maturity. And we won't let people bully us. And we won't let people steal our joy. Like, it's just really growing in faith. Like, if you know God's got it, then act like, walk like, think like, talk like God's got it, you know? Because, one, he does. And two, mm, excuse me, acting the opposite way is gonna get you opposite results. That's that. We all learn to be more comfortable in our own skin, fearless and bold in all that we do, because there's really nothing to fear, like what's gonna happen. Nothing. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like second, third grade again. When I was in uh, elementary school, like second, third grade, I think. One of my best friends, Alexis Lowe, when she wanted to get me to do something <laughs> that I shouldn't be doing, <laughs> she would always say, what are they gonna do, Ava? Were they gonna shoot us? No, Alexis, they're not gonna shoot us. And for some reason, because I knew that they weren't, I was like, well, oh, that's right, they're not gonna shoot us, huh? So I went ahead and did something crazy, you know? Not too crazy, though. But um, this eyebrow is just not like this one. And then I was trying to get this one to be like that, and then, mm, anyway. So, yeah, so nothing's gonna happen. There's nothing to fear. Not even fear itself. You shouldn't even fear fear. So, yeah, but just wanna encourage everybody. I know, at least on my timeline, Lord, people are saying that they are going through so much and keep losing loved ones and a lot you know it's a rough time for a lot of people but I just want to encourage you that God's got it you just have to surrender it all to him and uh, it'll be okay it's you know think about all the times you thought you weren't gonna win all the times you thought you wouldn't make it all the times you thought this is the worst thing that's ever happened somehow you get through it you get through it you laugh again, you love again, 
you sleep again, you sleep peacefully again, you know, it's not as bad as what you thought, you know? So keep the faith, keep the faith, keep going. God has something so wonderful on the other side. And the funny part is, even when you're praying for something and believing for something, I don't care if it takes decades. <laughs> Somehow when you do get it, when you finally get it, maybe much like a childbirth in the Bible, it says that a woman will go through all these pains, but that when she sees the baby, she won't even remember the pain anymore. You know, um, once you finally get what you want, once you finally get your heart's desires, you almost don't, you don't even feel the struggle anymore. Like, it's like, struggle, what struggle? Who, what, huh? Hmm? You know, and you can appreciate what you went through, but in your heart, you're not discouraged and disheartened and, you know, you're just so happy that it kind of, you know, you've seen your, your uh, theoretical baby and all is well. And, you know, you're replenished and ready for another faith walk. So, you know, keep the faith, keep going out there, folks. I know it's rough. I know it's difficult sometimes, but I tell a lot of people, you know, that are like, what, you know, what can, what can I do? I think I feel like this. I feel like that. I feel down. Honest to God, if you really just confess the joy of the Lord is my strength, that really works. Like if you say that like 20 times a day, it's hard to be sad. It's hard to be sad if that's just like your mantra, you know, the joy of the Lord is my strength. If you say that over and over, you will feel better. You don't have a choice. So, uh, yeah, I hope that helps someone. I feel super prepared, super calm. Like this was a really calm, this was a very different Christmas. Usually Christmas feels like the highlight of the year, like the pentacle of the year. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, favorite holiday. And then it was very different. It was very peaceful. I didn't listen to my traditional Christmas songs all my life. Like if I don't hear This Christmas by Donny Hathaway and uh, was it the Christmas song by Nat King Cole? It's just not, it didn't, it may as well not be Christmas. But this year I didn't hear either one of them, you know. <laughs> I wasn't that much into Christmas music this year. I was my train of thought. Anyway, um, <laughs> whoa, distracted. Um, yeah, I wasn't that much into Christmas music this year. I kept Elder Barge's uh, Christmas music on repeat. <laughs> And uh, that made me happy. And um, yeah, I've just really been into uh, listening to Quincy Jones's album, The Dude. Like that has been just wow. Okay, like Patty Austin's wrong. So yeah, that's been just getting me one, two, three, get bumped. So yeah, but it just was a weird, a weird Christmas in a good way. Just very different. I think I might be green today. Just very, very different type of Christmas. One with ease, almost like the best is yet to come so you don't have to act like, you know, Christmas. Camera cut off. Yeah, so it's like, you know, you don't have to act like Christmas is the only time for you to be happy and cheerful. Like, be happy and cheerful all, all throughout the year. And maybe this year has been a lot better for me than uh, definitely the last year. Last year was like, what the heck? Um, I mean, really, Lord. But anyway, um, <laughs> so this year has been tons better. And I guess I finally feel like, because for me, it started, <laughs> well, Lord knows. <laughs> if I'm being honest, the struggle started just like many years ago, like probably a decade ago. But I feel like I'm finally on the other side of things. Like I'm finally past the bad parts, finally past um, feeling like I get, you know, this much time of good things and then a chunk of bad things happen. And it's like this cycle that keeps going over and over, like good for a while, then bam, good for a while, bam. So. <laughs> I feel like I'm finally over that. I feel like the curse is broken. And um, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm genuinely, my heart is warmed. I have seen God do things that are like, what, what? Like, you know, 
And it's funny because some prayers are next day prayer. Honestly, some, some prayers are like, I pray today in the morning, and then by 8 at night, it happened. Some prayers take a little more time. So, but I'm starting to see the manifestation of both. I've had kind of an overnight prayer answered, and I've had, you know, like a lot of them praying and tearing for years. And I've seen those be answered this year, so. Literally. So, <laughs> you know, just, it's so important to keep joy in your heart. And that can be a struggle, that can be very difficult. Um, different people are more emotionally resilient than others. But, um, you just, you just gotta keep it going though. You gotta keep it pushing. Cause better is ahead. Um, <laughs> I have this thing on my wall that, uh, and I have to paraphrase, but, um, a friend of mine texted me and he, just this beautiful text that was just very, you know, I don't want to say random, but <laughs> I was complimenting him on something and he uh, texted me this beautiful message and said, you know, remember, anyway, the best is yet to come. Thanks be to God who gives all things freely and bountifully to those who ask, trust, and love him with all their hearts. I believe that's what it says. And I loved the text so much because sometimes you read something and it just bathes you, it just comforts you. And I love the text so much that I printed it out and framed it on my wall. So <laughs> I look at it every day as a reminder that the best is yet to come. Thanks be to God who does give all things freely and bountifully to those who ask and trust and love them, love him with all their hearts. So that keeps me going. That was my tooth. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, no. I'm being indecisive, Lord. Hell no. All right. So that's the funny thing about me. Red lipstick. Purple lipstick. May take me a minute. Life or death situations, decisions, and things of that nature. Uh, blue wire, red wire. I'm your girl. I don't know, it's weird. A little tidbit about me. The bigger the decision, the easier it is for me to make. Uh, I'm, I'm like that for a reason, I'm sure. God knows why, but uh, the smaller decisions sometimes take, most of the time to be honest, they take a little more time for me. This shoe or that shoe, I don't know. Pull the plug or don't pull the plug. I'm your girl. All right. Can you even tell the difference? I kind of fuchsia varized it. No, no, anyway, it's better. Now for this fun. Use a toothbrush on my fat girl's nap. Oh. Chill. But um, yeah, I am excited for 2017. And I hope that everybody else is excited for 2017. I hope that if this year has been rocky, then that's even more incentive for you to look forward to saying Happy New Year so that uh, you can have a clean slate and uh, a clean canvas and start painting uh, 2017 with God. 
and start seeing all your dreams realized and you know the things you've been praying for realized so I am wishing everybody out there the brightest of days and um, happy new year I uh, will not see you until after the new year but happy new year be safe uh, stay warm keep God first and um, yeah, I love you. Thank you to all my subscribers. Like, I'm so excited. Every time I get that email alert, you have a subscriber. You have a new subscriber. You have this new subscriber. You know, so I'm so appreciative. So thank you to all my new subscribers, all my OG subscribers, all my life with Ava. Folk, I love you. Thank you for your support. Um, you've made me a super happy camper. And, um, yeah, God bless you. Have a beautiful new year and I will see you in the vlogs.